Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish Gaming. This is Neon, and it looks like Bobby Kotick is gone. He's going to be leaving Activision at the end of the year. Uh, hard Drive. Hard Drive. I love this. Hard Drive. Bobby Kotick retires to focus on overseeing toxic culture of harassment at home. We're going we're gonna to circle back around to this parody article. But yeah, he is uh, out the door as of, I think, December 29th. Shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody, given what's going on over there, given the merger and all that. Uh, Bobby is is gone. Uh, lots of people celebrating on on Twitter. Gav here says Bobby Kotick slithers back into the tar pits from whence he was spawned. Tentacles oozing and dripping black sludge. Dripping black sludge. Uh, there we go, guys. Uh, even Kotaku is like, yeah, thank God he's gone. Pretty much everybody is like, yeah, thank God this guy's gone. Uh, I don't think he was very well liked, was he? He wasn't very well liked. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about it. Uh, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more gaming content, gaming news here on Clownfish Gaming. This is coming from The Verge. I guess we'll go their version. Uh, Microsoft announces more Xbox leadership changes as Activision's Bobby Kotick departs. They're largely keeping the Activision Blizzard leadership intact, minus a few high-profile names. Yeah, they got to get rid of some of these people. Um, so he's gone. Kotick's departure comes just two months after some big Xbox leadership changes. We saw Sarah Bond promote to Xbox president, leading all Xbox platform and hardware work, and Matt Booty promoted to president of game content. Uh, Booty, Booty is getting even more responsibilities with Bethesda. Uh, Microsoft is largely keeping the leadership team of Activision Blizzard in place. Yeah, they got uh, got rid of a couple people. Uh, communications department and, and all that. Uh, let's see here. Microsoft continues to integrate Activision Blizzard into its expanded Microsoft gaming business. It's clear Matt Booty is now taking more responsibility than ever before. So Phil Spencer uh, puts a post out and says, uh, Phil Spencer previously blamed the deal's long regulatory process for not having a back catalog of Activision Blizzard games available on Game Pass. That's the, the whole, yeah, this whole thing has been a mess. Warning, we have to wait until 2024 for news on game editions. Here's what he wrote. Earlier today, Activision CEO Bobby Kotick formally announced that Friday, December 29th, will be his last day at Microsoft Gaming. Under Bobby's watch, Activision Blizzard, in its many incarnations, has been enduring has been, I was going to say, has been enduring dogpiling from the internet. But it says, has been an enduring pillar of video games, whether it's Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, Candy Crush Saga, or any number of other titties titles. His team have created beloved franchises and entertained hundreds of millions of players for decades. I'd like to thank Bobby for his invaluable contribution to this industry, his partnership in closing the Activision Blizzard acquisition, and his collaboration following the close, and I wish him and his family the very best in his next chapter. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here, Bobby. Uh, get out of our way. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bobby's With Bobby's impending departure... Uh, we are taking the next step in aligning Activision Blizzard with Microsoft Gaming by making the following organizational changes. And that's what they go down the list here of all the people. Um, there's Matt Booty. Uh, nobody cares about Matt Booty. Sorry, Matt. Nobody cares. Uh, Kotaku. Bobby Kotick's goodbye letter calls the Xbox the world's most admired company. Um, I don't know about that. Here, <laughs> I don't know about that. Kotick, who has been mired in controversy for uh, many of the 32 years he's been at Active Blizz's helm, penned a goodbye letter to employees on Wednesday and officially announced his last day will be December 29th. Titled Bobby Kotick with Gratitude, the letter is addressed to extraordinary people and begins with Kotick's history as a capital G gamer, not just a gamer. No, a capital G gamer. Over the years, my passion for video games has often been attributed to Pitfall, River Raid, and Kaboom. I love those Atari 2600 games, but the game that first captured my imagination was Mystery House, developed by Roberta and Ken Williams. Yeah, there were no women in gaming, Bobby. There were no women in gaming. You're making it up. She doesn't exist. I played it on a borrowed Apple II. Mystery House was a text adventure. I vaguely remember it. It was a text adventure with some primitive sprite-based graphics, uh, the world in which the game was played was largely left to the player's imagination, etc., etc., etc. He continues praising the hard work of the very same Activision Blizzard employees who accused him of contributing to the creation of a workplace environment that includes sexual harassment and discrimination. 
Uh, Phil Spencer has appreciated the magic of active a ABK for decades. ABK, that's what we're going to call it. Ab Kip. When he approached uh, Brian, um, I you know I wish I wish we had people more people called Smith working in the video game industry. Brian Bulato, uh, Bulateo, Bulateo. As he approached uh, me and Brian two years ago and proposed acquiring the company, it was immediately obvious the combination of our businesses would enable us to continue to lead the list of capable well as the list of capable, well-resourced competitors grow. Basically, it's just like end-stage capitalism for video games. Everybody's consolidating. Everybody's laying off so they can consolidate. So there it is, guys. Uh, Bobby Kotick, uh, out the door. Out the door. Um, Nathan Grayson here. Following a year of unprecedented video game industry layoffs. Yeah, they're, they're, I mean, hell, Epic is laying off. Klingwa Activision employees are calling soft layoffs. In QA, here are the multi-million dollar golden parachutes Bobby Kotick and other soon-to-be departed Activision execs will receive. Wow. Yeah, he's getting like 14 million bucks. Oh, he'll be okay. Uh, this one gets 25 million. This one gets 29 million. His buddy Brian gets 11. Yeah, they'll be fine. They're going to be fine. Even Claudine gets $2 million. She'll be okay. She'll be okay. Uh, the very evil corporate world of gaming. Yeah, yeah. It's become big business, right? So here's hard drives take on. Bobby Kotick retires to focus on overseeing toxic culture of harassment at home. Uh, Bobby Kotick announced he's stepping down from his executive role at the video game holding company in order to spend more time hurling abuse at his loved ones, sources confirm. This is parody, by the way. Parody. After more than three decades in the gaming industry, I'm beginning to reevaluate my priorities, he said at a press conference. I have an ex-wife who has barely heard a single insult from me recently as I've been busy, so it breaks my heart to know that she's had years of growth and experience where I haven't been there to criticize and belittle her. Some of Kodak's children were not <laughs> some of Kodak's children were not excited about the prospect of their dad spending more time at home. I wish he'd stay at work, said one of Kodak's daughters, who asked to remain anonymous. My friend's mom forgot to coordinate with him about a pickup time after school, and she got voicemail from him where he says he's going to have her killed. Some of Kodak's peers also questioned his decision. Man, they literally had to force me out of my abusive executive position, said another former exec. I would have never left by choice. There's just so much more opportunity at the office. Sure, you can really do a number on a couple kids, but at the office there are hundreds of people you can make feel like they live in hell. There's just nothing like it. At press time, Kotick was seen screaming at his children, accusing them of causing all their family's problems by unionizing. <laughs> it's funny. Come on, it's funny. It's funny. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, I don't think it's going to get better for him. I'm going to be honest. I think uh, AAA studios are screwed. I think working for a AAA studio at this point. I mean, if you don't know what you're getting yourself into, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I, I, I'm much more excited about the stuff happening in the indie space than I am about AAA titles. But, uh, hey, if you want to do it, go for it, man. Go for it. Just don't expect to work in the industry long term because they will chew you up and spit you out. I am going to wrap this up. Please subscribe. We'll talk later. Thanks for watching. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And check out more videos on the channel, including Let's Plays in art and animation videos here on Clownfish Gaming. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Wait, oh, wait, oh wait, she wait. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here. And today we're in a... Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding, he's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Oops, sorry. 
Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run and carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>